Gemischtesatz. Sounds weird and possibly a bit kinky, but in fact, it's all rather innocent. Good, clean fun for everyone, I reckon. Hi, I'm Ed Merrison from Sellerhand, and today we're going to look at this. No prizes for guessing where it's from. And it is, in fact, a quintessentially Austrian drink. This is the Gemischtesatz of Ingrid Groys. Now, she's a standout grower based in the village of Breitenweide in Austria's Weinviertel region. You may have caught her name in the intro to Grüner Berliner we shot a couple of weeks ago. So these words here, gemischte Satz, they just mean mixed set and refer to the interplanting of various vine varieties within a vineyard, a field blend, in other words, of grapes that will be fermented together. The origins of this style lie in an attempt to protect yields and minimise risks. Think about it, you chuck a hodgepodge in your patch of dirt, a mix of early and late budding grapes, early and late ripeners, simple and interesting things, and no matter what spring and summer throw at you, you'll end up with something to drink. Bonus. Viticultural advances have done their bit to somewhat limit this scattergun plant and hope approach to the hobbyists, but it hasn't died out completely, thank goodness. The urban wine region of Vienna has its own appellation dedicated to this style, and other quality growers have been revisiting the field blend for its uplifting bouquet and flavour rainbow that these wines can represent. And here we have just one of those star growers. Ingrid Groys is going from strength to strength. This is uh, David Schilknecht, the Austrian specialist at Vinus Media, a couple of years back. And as new sites and plantings come online, what is already one of the vast Weinviertel's most exciting addresses may well turn out to be its number one. Fast forward to today and the newly organic certified estate has proven that prophecy entirely correct. So what of Ingrid herself? Well, her extreme modesty belies a deeply intuitive, self-assured approach. She's at once beguiled by the nature around her and seems kind of indivisible from it. And while I often see a marked musicality in the accent in this part of Austria, there's something enchantingly melodic about the wistful way Ingrid speaks of her grandmother's plots where many of her own grapes grow. You wouldn't be entirely surprised to see fairies flitting through the vines or elves skittering across the cover crop. A bit about her background then. Ingrid herself frolicked through these fields as a youngster while her family made wine for the family tavern. She then went off and became a high-flying marketing exec in Germany before the lure of her grandmother's vineyards brought her back. Even then, it wasn't plain sailing. She initially played second fiddle to her chief winemaker dad, a source of frustration for the ambitious Ingrid, since she was inching to take things up a notch. And in 2010, she urged Granny to hand her a plot of her own and went head to head with her old man. Whoever made the best wine got to take the reins. Needless to say, Ingrid came out on top in a blind taste off and she hasn't looked back. So to return to the wine itself, this actually is a blend of about 17 different varieties and the ferment itself is a thing of beauty. Green, golden, pink and purple skins all mingled in together. Some of the varieties you'll perhaps know intimately, Chardonnay, Grunefeld Lina, Riesling, Pinot's Gris and Blanc. Others sound a little bit more far-fetched. Graue Würslau, Hietelroter, Rotgipfler, Zierfandler, Silberweisser, Derek Zoolander. Okay, so that last one's not real. Um, Ingrid picks by hand and gives the grapes an eight-hour soak on those multicoloured skins, really making the most of that aroma and flavour spectrum, as well as giving some grip. She ferments the juice with indigenous yeast, then keeps the wine on those fermentation leaves in stainless steel for extra texture. The result, then, is as joyful and noseful of wine as you could wish for. It's a bit of an aromatic shapeshifter, too. Through the course of the bottle, different fruits and flowers seem to come to the fore. Today, this uh, 2018 smells of... Well, what isn't there, really? Uh, it's sort of white and yellow flowers, a touch of nettle, fennel, sage, and fruits that range from pear and grapefruit to rambutan and tangerine. It's slightly waxy and extremely juicy in the mouth with a spectrum of sweet and bitter fruits, some spice and tonic water too, with a pretty long, lip-smacking, grapey finish. Now, unlike many fruit salad wines, there's nothing confected or tinny about this, and it doesn't present as a blur that just flashes across the palate and is forgotten as soon as it's swallowed. Vivid, fresh-cut fruit is the impression, and it has animating length. So even if the concept of Gemischtesatz makes it seem a bit niche, I reckon fans of this wines could be a, as varied as the grapes it contains. I mean, why not? It's dry, fruity and refreshing, but with underlying poise, class and persistence. It'll set you back about $32 from your local wine shop, should you wish to track it down. So if you'd like to know more about the wines of Ingrid Groys or anything else in the Sellerhand portfolio, please check out our website, sellerhand.com.au, or feel free to send us a direct message at Sellerhand Wine or to me at Van Merison. In the meantime, please stay safe, drink responsibly and discerningly, and thank you again for watching.